You want to make a server in Minecraft 1.21.3 and in this video we're going to go over every single step to get your server up and running so you can start playing Minecraft with your friends. First things first, I do want to mention this is not a 24 hour server. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running. Plus, since your computer is going to be hosting it, you're going to need a really good computer in order to host the server and play Minecraft at the same time. On top of that, it's also using your own internet connection, which means not only can anyone who plays on this server do things like DDoS you, which is like hit your internet offline, as well as figure out where you lived under your latitude and longitude coordinates you're also going to need a pretty good internet connection and overall we recommend being decently tech savvy in order to host and run a minecraft server yourself because you're probably going to run into some issues however what if you don't want to do any of that you want the simplest and easiest way to make a minecraft server possible where you don't have to worry about the hardware that's running the server because the hardware is designed to run minecraft servers you don't have to worry about your internet connection your privacy security anything like that well that's where our company simple game hosting comes in go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to the xyz site simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends and anyone you want to join the server. The server can be public or private. That's completely up to you. You can even add mods and easily add mod packs to the server with our one-click mod pack installer should you want to play those in the future. Plus, like I said, hosting a server can sometimes be difficult. So if you run into any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and do it the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Now, with that being said, what if you do want to host a server yourself? Well, in the the description down below we have a link to here. This is our in-depth text guide on making a Minecraft server. If you prefer a text guide, this is here for you. But if you want this video guide, come here and click on this download Minecraft button to go to the official download page. What we're going to need to do is download our server jar file. This is what basically starts and runs our server. So as we can see here, download Minecraft underscore server 1.21.3.jar. This right here. Click on that and it will go ahead and start the download. You may need to keep or save the download like this. For example, we're saving it here. 100% safe to do that because this is Minecraft's official website. Now we want to go ahead and minimize our browser. We want to move that file we downloaded, that server.jar, to our desktop. So here it is, server.jar. We can drag and drop that to our desktop right like so. Now, just create a new folder. So right click, create a new folder. You can title it anything. I'm gonna title it Minecraft 1.21.3 server. And then we can drag and drop the server.jar from here into this Minecraft 1.21.3 server file. Open that up, and in here, all you've got to do is double-click on this server file. Now, for me, it's going to go ahead and generate a few files and folders, including the eula.txt file. However, if it doesn't generate these for you, you need to download Java 21. As a Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21 to run Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, things like that. And this is linked with a complete guide in the description down below that goes over absolutely everything. Now, with that being said, you may also need to run the jar fix. Just getting Java isn't enough. You also need to run the jar fix. That's going to take all the jar files, like the server.jar we downloaded, and link it back to Java, making it work together. So first get Java 21, then run the jar fix. It's important you do both if you can't double-click on this. And then you'll be able to double click on the server.jar and it will generate these files and folders. The one we specifically need is the eula.txt file. Double click on that and it will open in Notepad. And we can go ahead and rename eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save, and it will go ahead and save the eula file. That is also assuming you agree to the Minecraft eula here, which we do, of course. And we can go ahead and close out of that. Now double click the server.jar and your server is going to start. It's that easy to get a server up and running for you to be able to join it. At this point, you're the only person that can join your server. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's join your server and make sure it's working because if for whatever reason you're lagging right now, you're having issues right now, you're definitely gonna have issues when your friends join. So here we are, we're in Minecraft. Our server is up and running. Over here is your server's console, by the way. This is where you can do things like op yourself, type various commands. For example, to op yourself, we can come over here and type op and then your username, right like so, no slashes, or anything like that, just op space your username, hit enter, and then it will go ahead and op that player, or it says that player does not exist. Once we join the server, we can do that. However, you can see right here it says done, and the server is done starting. That's an indication it's done starting if you're wondering how to know that. But how do we join this server? If we go over here to multiplayer, we can click proceed, and then we can add the server. I'm going to name this local connection or local host because that's what we're going to be doing to join this. The server address is localhost, all one word, exactly like this. When you do that and click done, it will resolve the server right like so. We can double click to join on in and now we can go ahead and once we've joined in actually run that op command. So op and then our username right like so and there we go we have now been made a server operator. What that does is allows us to do things like slash game mode, in game, do you know slash kick, all of that stuff that you may want to do to moderate your Minecraft server instead of having to do that on the console, you can actually do that in game. But you can also run commands from the console, like we're in creative right now. If we do game mode, and then we do survival, and then we 
use our username. So basically, game mode survival, our username. Hit enter. It'll actually set that in game, right? Like so. We want to go back to creative. We can do the same command: game mode creative, and then your username. And boom, and now we are set back to creative. So there you have it. That's how you can go in and actually set things up and use the console to control your server. But how? Now that you've joined in, you've ran around. Things aren't lagging. Things look good. How do you allow your friends to join? Well, in order for your friends to join, they will need to port forward. And in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on port forwarding. The short of it is you need to port forward the port 25565 for both TCP and UDP. Now if that sounded like another language to you, don't worry. This guide here goes through everything. We used to include this in the main server guides here, but unfortunately YouTube doesn't like that. It wants us to split them up here. And so as you can see here, we have this port forwarding guide that's super in-depth, goes over everything, different routers, all of that stuff, and allows you to get your port forwarding done. And your friends will then join using your public IP address, but that is also covered in this guide. I also want to mention this here, which is our how to fix broken Minecraft servers. Often you'll run into a Minecraft server issue where people can't join, whatever the issue may be, random crashes, etc. And this shows you how to fix a broken Minecraft server going over all the different methods. Over 20 minutes of us just fixing Minecraft server issues. Nonetheless, at this point, you now know how to make a Minecraft server in Minecraft 1.21.3 and how to get going towards having your friends join it. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.